friends um, welcome back to my channel uh, today we are i am going to solve a very interesting problem which is which uh, and this type of problem usually comes in your csa or net and gate physics exams okay so let's read the question okay the so the x and z component of the static magnetic field in the region r so this is the value of x component of the magnetic field okay and this is the z component of the magnetic field which is zero okay which of the following solution for its y component is consistent with the maxwell equation so finally you have to find out which is the correct equation okay so <clears throat> let's solve it okay okay since we are dealing with the magnetic field we make use of the third maxwell equation so why i am using the third maxwell equation is that we are magnetic dealing with the magnetic field and the third equation equation contains the magnetic field so this is the maxwell this is the maxwell third equation okay you can remember this the okay so further what i am going to do is that i am putting the value of this operator which is here okay and further the um, uh, the magnetic vector is written here okay okay so further what i have done i have taken the dot product over these two okay and then i arrive at the, this equation okay 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 now what i am going to do is that this was given me in the question and uh, this is also given me in the question but uh, b wide was not given the question so i will take it as it is okay on substituting the values i arrive at this equation okay and i solved this and i got this on differentiation and then i further uh, i could not solve this so i have done as it is so i got this equation okay and um, you can see that further this equation can be rearranged like this okay okay and now i in order to solve this equation further for b subscript y i have to integrate this with respect to y okay so here i have done the uh, done the different integration with respect to y and this is some constant okay okay the constant of integration okay so uh, <clears throat> here since we know that integration and differentiation both neutralize each other so both will cancel out and we will only be left with by but here at this point since we are integrating with respect to y the x will be the x is an independent variable and will be taken this whole term will be take can be taken out okay and then on further in differentiation this will give you the y and you will be you will come to this equation and then on ignoring the constant okay so you will arrive at this equation and this equation matches with your objective okay okay so why we have ignored the constant because because there is no way here to determine the constant because they have not provided us any of the boundary conditions or initial condition to find out the constant so we can ignore the constant at this point okay and on ignoring the constant we get this equation for b y and this is our answer okay thanks for watching this video thank you very much if you really like my videos please uh, uh, like subscribe and share with your friends thank you very much